Hi, welcome to the Back to Basics series. In this series, I'll be going through some crochet techniques and particularly working with plush or velvet yarn. In this video, I'll show you in detail how I like to do the magic ring and some tips for making it work with plush yarn. The magic ring is often used in amigurumi to start a piece. The benefit of using the magic ring is that it creates a circle shape without leaving a hole in the middle. In this video, I'll be using the James C. Brett Flutterby Chunky Yarn in Blue. We'll start with the length of yarn and start working about 30 centimeters or one foot in. And we'll put this over two fingers, making sure the loose tail is on the right. Then taking the tail, we loop this around twice. So you should now have three pieces of yarn in front of your fingers. Then we insert the hook under the right two pieces of yarn. And we grab the piece on the left. Then we twist the hook upwards. I'll do that again. So we put the hook under the right two pieces and grab the piece on the left and then twist the hook upwards. Now you can use your thumb to keep that working yarn out of the way and create some tension. Grab the working yarn and pull it through the loop. That is now one chain stitch just to keep the magic ring in place. Now we are ready to start crocheting the first round into the ring. I like to keep my fingers inside the circle during the first round, but you can hold it however you prefer. In the first round, we'll be working over these two strands of yarn on your fingers. So here's the first single crochet of round one over these loops. Now we do five more single crochet in round one. Now we have a magic ring with six stitches that we still need to tighten. With the plush yarn, the fibers can sometimes shift, which makes it difficult to tighten. The best way I have found to deal with it is to grip the stitches with the nails on the left hand. There will be two strands of yarn over here and you will need to locate the back one. Grip that first single crochet between the nails of your left hand and then pull on that back strand with the right hand. You might need to pull quite hard here. As you pull, it will shorten the other strand. So pull the back strand until you can't see the front strand anymore. Then we take the yarn tail and once again gripping that first single crochet with your left hand we pull this tail tight with the right hand. You should now have a magic ring with six single crochet. Sometimes even following these steps the yarn can get stuck and not pull through. In this case you might just need to cut off the magic ring and start again. This does sometimes still happen to me. At the end of round one, 
I like to grab my stitch marker and put it in that last stitch we did. Next we will do round two. In most amigurumi, we will crochet in spiral rounds. This means you don't do a join at the end of each round, you just continue each round in a spiral. The next round will go into the first stitch we did of round one. The easiest way to find this stitch is to count backwards from this marked stitch. So we did six stitches in round one. So if we count back six stitches, we will get to the first stitch of the round. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll be working round two starting in this stitch here. And this is the first single crochet of round two. This pattern is just a normal circle, so round two consists of six increases. This means we do two single crochet into each stitch of round one, which gives us a total of 12 stitches in round two. And these are the last two single crochet of round two. Now you should have a circle with a magic ring of six stitches in round one and 12 stitches in round two. As you can see, there's no hole in the middle. Just a nice closed circle. At the back of the circle, in the middle, will be the yarn tail. From here, you will continue with the rounds according to the pattern. Thanks for watching this Back to Basics video on magic rings. For more amigurumi patterns and tips, please subscribe to my channel.